Hello and welcome to the Watchman on the Wall channel. This prophetic word excerpt comes from Nate Johnston, Dallas, Texas. The tables are turning. Ever felt like the tide is against you? That it seems like every part of your life is under siege, under fire, in a state of contention when you're trying to move forward? Does it feel like every door that should be opening is delayed, as if there are a thousand men holding every way shut? Does it seem like your mind, your heart, is the target of a million fiery arrows from the enemy trying to take you down? In the last few days, I felt such a burden of the Lord to pray over those at this specific place. So I want to bring encouragement today to those facing opposition in the transition. So if this word resonates with you, one or more of these areas, if it grips your heart, please take it. Let the power of the Holy Spirit bring you to breakthrough. I woke up early a few mornings ago with the pull of intercession for many who are looking at giant-sized obstacles and discouraging outcomes and the results in this season that's been prophesied to be marked with birthing and crossing over into promise. God, this doesn't look like the increased you promised. Many people are saying this, and they've felt like they've been walking through months of loss and robbery in many different areas from health or marriage or financial or destinies. The sign it doesn't, it doesn't point to what God has shown you would be taking place. And maybe you feel discouragement and it's setting in. Then as I was praying, I saw people holding maps in their hands. They were looking bewildered and confused at the landscape they were seeing. So with a big sigh of exhaustion, they dropped their map. It fell to the ground. They gave up. So many are wanting to give up and drop their assignment and their dreams because it, it looks too hard. For many, it's, it's pure exhaustion, it's discouragement, or it's, it's defeat. But for many others, it's so much more. The very moment I call to you, for a father's help in the tide of battle, it turns and my enemies flee. This is one thing I know. God is on my side. Psalm 56, 9. As I was praying into this week, I kept seeing a vision of tables being overturned, much like Jesus did in the temple when they were using God's house incorrectly. The word overturned kept rising up in my spirit, and the Lord began to speak to me that he was overturning every assignment of the enemy. Every assignment the enemy has been waging war on you, and he's turning the tide. He hasn't turned a blind eye to the fact that he's rising up in holy anger and justice to see that what has been coming against you not only will stop, but it will flip and become something that works for you. This is where God fights fiercely for you and reverses the flow of calamity and opposition. Every weapon forged against you that will come at you, that has tried to take you out or burden you or enslave you. It's tried to enslave you into stepping into new depths of destiny. It cannot, it will not prosper. And I prophesy, this will be a week this will be a time you will get new strength, new joy, and you will begin to shake the earth with the sound of your mantle hitting the water in Jesus' mighty name. Hallelujah. Let's pray into this word. Lord, turn the tables. Turn the tables in our favor. Turn the tables for my friend, Father. Lord, for those areas of our life where the enemy is coming against us. Lord, he may come in, but you come in greater. Greater is he who is in me, who is in you, friend, than he that is in the world. Lord, I thank you that no assassination attempt in the spirit can take us out. No heaviness that's laid upon us in the spirit can overtake us. But Father, we choose shalom peace. We choose to follow you, Holy Spirit. I thank you, Lord, that even when in the natural it doesn't look like your promises are coming through, we can sit back knowing with full confidence, with full assurance that no word comes from God that does not, that does not get planted, that does not receive and return a harvest, Father. And that's what we're calling for. Father, we're calling for harvest. We're calling for harvest in every area, Father. Turn the tides, turn the tables, and may it be according to us, according to your word. In Jesus' mighty name, amen.